Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're talking about cancel culture. Um, yeah. <laughs> so if you- oh, it's, this is a corrupt game, so now I'm gonna get three FPS, it's fine. It's fine, we're fine. So, cancel culture is- if you don't know what cancel culture is, it's a toxic system. Yeah, that's just meant to not really be a polite way to get rid of people. Yes, lag advantages. Okay. Uh, I also wanted to say quickly that uh, we got new ducks. So if you hear any peeping in the background, that's from them. Yeah. Other... Okay. We will take that. I will take that. Okay. No. Okay, <laughs> can we get back to the topic, please? So, cancel culture. <laughs> On the topic of cancel culture, that's what we're supposed to be talking about, not the new ducks that we got, which are adorable and they're staying with me, basically. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Okay, I killed him. Okay, now that we're the last one of the last people alive, I can finally talk about cancel culture. So, cancel culture, uh, the textbook definition of cancel culture, uh, it refers to the practice of withdrawing support from public figures and companies after they've done something that people, like, think are is questionable. Who, where are you shooting me from? People think is questionable or uh, offensive. So, it, it's... It's, like, the idea is there, but it's such a toxic system that it really, really doesn't work how it should. I don't want that. I want... The arrows are gone? No, I have the arrows. I'm a fool. Yeah, it's it's so toxic if you just think about it. Like, if somebody did something wrong... Where are you... Is he down there? <laughs> well, that went well, didn't it? GG. Okay, so before I was rudely interrupted by the end of that game, uh, we're just gonna we're gonna continue straight along. So even if like a person knows that they screwed up, like I'm sure that if they get backlash from the community, they're gonna know they screwed up somewhere, and canceling them really, really doesn't help because it's just adding like stuff to the conversation that's unnecessary. Like, it just, yeah, <laughs> it's unnecessary is, I guess, the gist of all of this. You don't really need to tell somebody that they screwed up, because I'm sure they already know. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's the gist of cancel culture, is we're going to tell people that they screwed up, even though they already know they screwed up. It just it really doesn't make any sense. And it, it, it's so immature and petty, if you if you think about it. Like, you don't need to, like I said, you don't need to tell somebody they screwed up, they know. And you don't need to say, oh, this person's over, yay, we're done, we're never going to talk about them again, and two seconds later you talk about them again. It does, it's not, it's just a thing, it's a thing, yeah, it's, it's so petty and immature, and they know they made a mistake, they already know they were the ones that made the mistake. It, it's just, it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. And <laughs> there's this person I'm going to talk about. I'm sure you've heard of Doja Cat. I actually just started to hear about her, but um, I was on Twitter, scrolling through Twitter, and one of the hashtags that came up was hashtag Doja Cat is over party. Uh, that's kind of mean, I guess, is what I want to say about that. It's kind of rude, unnecessary, and <laughs> like I, like I said, they already know they screwed up. And then the next day, Twitter says, hashtag, we're sorry, Doja. So you cancel somebody, then you immediately uncancel them. Didn't even know uncanceling was a thing. So you sort of just, it's sort of just made up, it seems like. We're going to cancel you for a day, and if if anything happens that makes us change your, our minds, then you're uncanceled or whatever. Like, it does, it, in the long run, it really doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Like, I'm sure I could get cancelled by James Charles and nobody will care because it, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, granted, I'm not that big of a YouTuber and I don't know if James Charles even knows who I am. I'm sure he doesn't. 
It, uh, it doesn't make a difference. At all. Thank you. Okay. Uh, where's these last four guys? We need, I need those kills. It's, it's so petty and immature. And uh, the thing about just cancel culture in general is usually it's resulted from the fact that uh, <laughs> people are quick to judge and uh, don't really think about what's happening. What's really happening, anyway. So they, they're quick to judge and just slow to question. So they, they don't question what's happening. They just say, oh, you're over, and we're done talking about you. And then we go back a day, and everybody's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. It was all accidental. It's like, can we make up our mind is really the big question here, is why can't we make up our mind about it? Yeah, it's it's so it's just so unnecessary and so unreasonably toxic that we really don't need it in our society anymore. And if you want to participate, go right ahead. I'm not about to be your mother and tell you that you're not allowed to participate in cancel culture. That's not my that's not my place. That's not what that's not my job. Hi. So, yeah. I think that's basically all I really had to talk about. <laughs> yeah. Also, GG boys. Okay, guys, that's all. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, this was a quick little video that I decided to put together because I really don't like cancel culture, and cancel culture is just kind of annoying to me. There's a video up in the corner. It's my latest video, actually, which uh, is doing really well. The school system is dumb. Um, I hope you all enjoy that. Please click it. That's great. Yeah. Okay, bye.